Okay, so I had a viewer send me a message asking about the G4 and talking about display ports and 4K video and whether they supported it and whether you could work with it and, you know, could you use it with a um, an adapter? Uh, and I'm like, oh, well, I've never never thought about it. You know, do, do these units from, you know, five to 12 years, you know, for ago, do they support 4K? You know, what, what can we do with it? And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, I only have uh, at my house, uh, the only thing that does 4K is our TV. I don't have any 4K monitors, but these days, you know, a TV and a monitor are pretty much the same kind of thing, um, especially with the smart TVs. This had a um, HDMI in, and so I thought, okay, I'll just, uh, you know, grab one of my um, G4s and give it a try. Initially, I used this guy to convert from the HDMI, excuse me, the display port to HDMI. Um, when I initially tested, I didn't, I didn't test it with the... Um, with this uh, MP9, I think I had a different G4, may, may have even been a 65 watt one. But I hooked it up and I was kind of disappointed because like, wait a minute, I'm not getting uh, 4K. How come I'm not getting 4K? I'm going to DisplayPort. Well, I took out and I looked at my the specs on this adapter and it clearly says right here, video resolution up to 1920 by 1080. Well, that's a far cry from 4K. So, went on. I really like these uh, Cable Matters adapters. And ordered this one that actually says DisplayPort 4K resolution support. And I think, let me see if it actually has the, uh, the resolution on here. Oh, it just, it just says uh, resolution up to 4K by uh, 2K. Um, I'll put in the, um, down below, what that um, resolution is considered. You'll see it later also in a video um, as part of this in which I show what it looks like when you actually go on to the um, inside of Windows and pick the resolution. So that was great. So at least now I had something I could use as an adapter. So I pulled out my MP9 and it has a Flex I.O. that is HDMI, so I wanted to test that. I wanted to test with the display port and see how it worked. And lo and behold, I got it to work. And I'll show that uh, after I show these. Um, you know, and what's kind of cool is that um, I was even streaming uh, some 4K video over uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, there were some sputters, some of my initial tests, um, but, you know, if, if you don't mind maybe waiting a little bit as it goes through, it's not too bad. But the fact that you have this um, little unit and you could conceivably, you know, have it hooked up uh, uh, to your TV. Maybe you don't have a smart TV, but you do have, but it does do 4K for some reason. And uh, you want to just use one of these, you could use it as kind of a media thing. So... I did the MP9, which is a G4, and then I thought, well, what about the G3? So this is an Elite Desk G3. This one actually has three display ports. This is the Flex I.O., and I tested it on here, and I got it to work. So that's great. So <laughs> you can do 4K on a G3 with the adapter, through the um, with the display port and conceivably if you had the flex IO HDMI that should work too and then I thought okay well what about 
the G2. So, pulled out a G2. This one has the, they didn't really call it, they call it like, um, kind of like, like an expander. Um, wasn't really technically flex IO. I guess you could call it like pre-flex IO. Anyway, it was, this has HDMI. Worked here. Worked on the display port with the adapter. Uh, it's not going to work with VGA. VGA doesn't, won't support it. I have kind of a converter that goes from um, VGA to HDMI. Uh, it displayed on the screen, but I, the system wouldn't allow me to pick the uh, 4K. Then I thought, okay, am I pushing my luck? Do I try the G1? So I've got this ProDesk which um, all these units I wanted to test, um, it needed to have Wi-Fi because I didn't want to string a long cable. And I figured as long as it had it, this, this Pro Desk happened to have Wi-Fi. Had two display ports. And I hooked it up. And lo and behold, I also got 4K, which is pretty amazing for such an old unit. Um, does this have a date on this one? No, but you know, you're figuring it's, it's gotta be at least, uh, you know, probably 2018, something like that, maybe earlier. So that's pretty nice. And you know, it was made for, 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 uh, uh windows, windows eight. So the kind of long and short is that if you do want to do it, it is supported and you can do it. I'd be curious to see the folks that actually use it more for their day-to-day. -day. One thing I found when I hooked it to the TV is that it changes the scaling so it's like at 300%. So everything's really big and you know you can see it from the, your couch and so forth, uh, but maybe not as practical for spreadsheets. When you shrink it down to just 100%, you know, just, no, no, just normal, normal scale, yeah, you, you have a lot of real estate, and I would probably only use that if I was using a true monitor. And even then, maybe you'd want at least like, I don't know, maybe a 36-inch? I don't know if that's too big. 27 is usually kind of the sort of the standard for most desktops. Maybe you get by with a 27-inch um, 4K. After this, I'll, sh I'll uh, cut in some video showing um, what it looked like when uh, connected to the TV and how you would go and change the resolution. And But leave me some comments, anyone that is out there actually using 4K for their normal uh, desktop monitor. Okay, so what you're going to want to do, uh, I'm doing this, of course, with my uh, home TV versus a uh, actual computer monitor because I don't have a uh, 4K monitor. But what I did was is I've got my um, G4 uh, MP9 mini that's connected to a HDMI cable to the HDMI port. And this particular TV has a, um, you know, extra HDMI input. And so I've picked it. So if I go into display settings, You'll see that it's because it's a TV, it thinks that, well, I probably should scale this so it can actually be seen by people. So it goes 300%. And then this is the key part, which is the um, resolution, which is, uh, was that 3840 by 2160. And that's what was considered to be 4K resolution. If I go to this resolution, it makes it so that it's a little wider on the sides there. So let's go back to our normal, our recommended. We'll keep it. And that's about it. I was going to also show, I've got the Wi-Fi hooked up just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you actually do a uh, 4K video. And if you'll notice right now, the settings show HD, but I can go in and actually change it and then I get my 4k image and that's about it if you were you'll know that it doesn't work if you come in and this is how I discovered the first time when I was playing with it and I was using the 
uh, display port to HDMI adapter, the one I had didn't support 4K. So the best I could do is just normal HD uh, on, you know, the same TV. Uh, once I basically just took and got the 4K version of, of that adapter, plugged it in, everything worked great. Uh, and even, um, you know, moving it from um, either the HDMI actual, you know, using the Flex I.O. and also using the DisplayPort, you get the same results.